Namaskar friends welcome to feasty sisters and today i bring you a feasty recipe to get you pampered i have got the absolute famous stuffed garlic bread that we so love to buy at dominos let me show you how to make it at home this would turn out even more luscious since it's made with love at our home the ingredients list is featured at the end of the video we request you to watch the video till the end so let's start and straight the first step activating our yeast to the lukewarm milk add yeast and sugar stir and leave aside to allow it to turn frothy it would take approximately 10 minutes let's prepare the dough to the all purpose flour and the whole wheat flour in a bowl add the milk powder malai or a homemade cream and give a gentle mix now add in the activated yeast mix and make a dough with water if using plain water add 2 teaspoons of salt form a dough remove it onto a clean kitchen counter start kneading the dough for a good 6 to 8 minutes stretching and folding or rubbing it onto your kitchen counter ideally continue kneading till you watch your hands getting cleaner and the dough becoming non sticky smooth and shiny spread the dough onto the kitchen counter dab ghee over it and close the ghee inside and fold in the dough now roll the dough over the kitchen counter for a minute or two since there's whole wheat flour in the dough too much pressure will result in the break of the lovely gluten that you would want to see developing hence you would like to go gentle especially while kneading shape the dough into a ball poke it if you see the dough springing back your dough is ready for the first proofing if not continue kneading for a minute or more grease your kneading bowl with ghee place the dough ball inside it coat with ghee level it and cover with a kitchen towel or a clean shower cap instead of ghee you may alternatively use any flavorless oil or olive oil let it sit in a warm place in your kitchen for about 40 minutes or until double in volume step 2 prepping the filling for the filling heat a tablespoon of ghee or oil in a tawa or pan spread the diced paneer over it with a pinch of turmeric powder roast it by flipping over on all sides in a bowl take garlic mayo or plain mayonnaise add in the turmeric powder and milk to adjust the consistency we would look for a coating consistency here add in the pan roasted paneer along with a few coriander leaves chopped mix and keep aside for the herb garlic butter to the melted or softened butter add fine chopped garlic and coriander leaves mix and keep aside to the grated mozzarella cheese add oregano seasoning and red chili flakes toss them around the final step assembling once the dough has doubled punch it down remove onto the kitchen counter spread the dough and add in fine chopped garlic incorporate it in divide the dough into four portions meanwhile preheat your oven at 200 degrees celsius for 10 minutes use maize flour or suji for the dusting here roll out into a half centimeter thick oval sheet loosen the sheet of the kitchen counter by lifting them now spread the herb garlic butter over the sheet leaving 1 cm from the edges place 1 to 2 tablespoon of the paneer and mayo filling over one half of the sheet closest to you like so sprinkle some red chili flakes and oregano seasoning over this area top it with a cheese mixture and a few jalapenos you may find chopped jalapenos or leave them circular 
Lift the unfilled upper flap of the sheet and cover it over the filled area. Gently tug onto the dough to pull it to the edges. Seal at the edges with a fork. Your semicircle is ready. Grease your baking tray with butter all over. Alternatively, place a parchment sheet over the tray. Place the semicircle over it. Use a sharp knife and make slits over it to resemble sticks. Do not cut them through and through. Brush the herb butter on top of it. Sprinkle red chili flakes and oregano over. Bake in the preheated oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Midway, you might want to rotate the baking tray to allow even baking on the top. Once out, brush your garlic bread with some soft butter. Cut them into strips at the slit portion and serve hot with mayo or sauce. We relish it as it is. Thank you for dropping in. Please do like, share and subscribe to get notifications of more such upcoming recipes to doll up your creations at home. Bye-bye.